Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, this is a reported image from our spotter Jim Link in Kentland of a lawn and patio completely submerged by a good six inches to a foot of water. And this is another image from that storm, except it's on the southeast side of it, looking up towards it out of southern White County. And finally, some wind damage. This was near Shadeland. We had a tree split here near Highway 25, and we had winds measured up to 50 miles an hour on the south side of Lafayette a little bit earlier. But rainfall this evening has been intense, especially northwest of Lafayette. Anything you see in red, that's upwards of five inches of rain. The, the breadwinner or the unfortunate area, I guess I should say, is southeast of Brook. 5.4 inches of rainfall measured. And anything in light green or green or even yellow is at least one inch of rainfall. Notice how the amounts are much less as you move southeastward. The issue tonight is that there's a little disturbance down here in Missouri and Arkansas. And this is ejecting to the northeast. So we've already had a lot of showers and storms here. But there's new development in Missouri, and this is going to move in overnight and only add to the rainfall totals. I think some places could get another half inch to an inch of rain. This rain is kind of working to the northeast. It's got some lightning embedded in it and still some pretty good storms out here in east central Illinois. The rust colors, those are flash flood warnings. Those will uh, come down by midnight. And this is a midnight and one, that is, and this is a flood advisory in the green. Still a little bit of light rain, though, in White County from Monticello over to Logansport and also near Rochester. But a good chunk of the rain is mainly over eastern Illinois, but again, that'll slowly move into the viewing area with time. Some rain coming into Lafayette, a little thunder shower north of Attica, and then there's the additional lightning south, uh, south of Hoopston that'll move in. 72 steamy degrees in Lafayette, 69 at the White County Airport, Cass County Air, Airport's at 70, and it's 71 degrees at Attica, only headed for lows in the upper 60s for the overnight. And tomorrow, we're only headed for low to mid 80s, even though it is going to be very humid, and I do expect after some showers and thunderstorms in the morning, some more in the afternoon. It's the same pattern for really the rest of the week, except Wednesday. A few severe storms, some flash flooding at times. And really after Wednesday, the only storm-free day after that of the next six would be Sunday. There are the showers and thunderstorms coming at us from time to time overnight, really from 4 o'clock in the morning through tomorrow morning, and then more bubbling up with heating tomorrow afternoon. But it looks like the storms may kind of slide just southwest of our area on Wednesday. So we may have a dry Wednesday, but boy, more showers and storms as this little boundary stalls out. We have storm clusters riding over the same area Thursday through Saturday, and then it just gets hot. We'll shut the rain off, but we're going to head for the 90s by Sunday. You can see that the shower storms tomorrow, same thing Thursday. Friday and Saturday, and then we're capped, but it's very hot next week with highs of 90 and 92 respectively Sunday and Monday. Be careful tonight. Still some heavy rain overnight, and those areas that were nailed with very heavy rain this evening still roads underwater in Benton, Newton, and Jasper. Counties. And don't drive through it. We say it every single time. Don't drive through it. Oh, you bet. All right. Thanks, Chad. Sure. Well.